So, hello and welcome to another class of ABVO Sciences. This is Abhishek with you. So, today I'll be talking about viral escape mechanisms from their hosts. You can say. So, viruses are very smart organisms which can escape several protections or several layers of protection that is present in the host uh, defense mechanisms or host body. So, viral escape mechanism. So, I'll go each and every point and with uh, example I will tell you. What is happening? So most of the viral pathogenicity occurs due to the immune system uh, mechanism of hypersensitivity, or the virus is growing inside a cell that effect. So whenever it is infecting a cell, due to the infection, it produces some of the uh, proteins or their replication cycle, different nucleic acids, and for that, our cell generates a response. Due to that, we are having the pathogenicity. So the mechanisms through which a virus can resist are first one antigenic drift. Antigenic drift is a very dangerous mechanism of a virus where it can be seen in influenza virus. Influenza. You may have heard of several strains like uh, H1N1, H3N1, H5N1. These are several strains of the influenza virus where H is equal to hemagglutinin and N is a neuraminidase. So there is a modification in these segments. That's why they have changed their uh, protein structure so it can escape or the antibodies which are prepared previously will not be reactive to the next strain. So I will give you a clear example. Suppose I am infected with H1N1 this year. That time our body will produce if I survive uh, my body is already having the antibodies against the H1N1. But in the next flu season if there is the availability of H3N1, my body is not prepared for that because it is already prepared for this H1N1, not for H3N1 because there is a modification in the hemagglutinin section. So this is the called antigenic drift where it can change the structure of the proteins or the motifs or the epitopes present on the virus which can uh, escape our immune system. Okay, so this is the first point. Now go over the second point. Second is the immunity depression. So immunity depression means the levels of immune cells or immune system which is controlling the immune reaction is down regulated by the virus. This is called immune depression. So I'll give one example that is HIV, which infects T cells. Now T cells, there are T helper cells, TC cells, T cytotoxic T cells. They generally act on the T helper cells. Uh, that is CD4 positive cells, and it reduces, it lies the cells and reduces the count of that CD4 positive cells. So what happened, if you destroy the regulatory cells, that is T helper cells, it cannot activate other cells or the humoral immunity of your body. So because the, all the things are linked together, that acquired immunity, B cells and T cells, antibody production and the cell mediated immunity is totally linked. So if you destroy the CD4 levels or T cells, there, then the humoral response will not act properly and other cell responses, other uh, phagocytic responses, everything will be in a halt position or it will not be that much powerful uh, if it is in the presence of that cells and in the absence of that cells. So this is the case here. And one more example I can give you here that is adenoviruses. They infect the cells and reduce the number of MHCs. So major histocompatibility complex, 
वन एंड टू सो दे रिड्यूस और दे डिस्ट्रॉय द मेजर हिस्टो कम्पलिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स वन एंड टू प्रेजेंट ऑन द सेल्स सो दैट इज ऑल्सो इफ देर इज एम एच सी वन एंड टू डिप्रेशन मीन्स द सेल विल नॉट बी रिकॉग्नाइजिंग द एंटीजन और इट विल नॉट हेल्पिंग द एपीसी सेल्स will not uh, go for the phagocytic mechanism and the proper immunity will not be generated so this is also a type of mechanism from adenoviruses now the next one is cell fusion cell fusion is very interesting thing where the viruses move from one cell to another cell without ever being expelled out from the cell means it can uh, travel between the cells from the infected cell to the healthy cells how with the fusion suppose a cell which is infected with viruses this infected cell and now that is infected cell movement to this is suppose healthy cell here the virus would like to move from this infected cell to the healthy cell so what will happen it will try or it will go for the fusion of these two cells so fusion will help the viruses from move from the healthy uh, infected to healthy cells so this type of mechanism is followed in case of cmvs cytomegaloviruses they generally follow this type of mechanisms and also the measles viruses these are also following this mechanism now the next one is safe cell zones safe cell zones are zones where the immunity is not so provoked or immunity not so powerful like the neurons or neuron cells generally infected by herpes virus where the expression of mhcs are not so powerful for the number of apc cells having this mhc class 2 molecules which can recognize the pathogen is scarce so these zones are prone to the infection with herpes virus as they go for the cns cns infection and the last word the not least is the false neutralization false neutralization means our body or the immune cells will recognize the antigen which is not the actual antigen and in that case or in that time the original antigen is reproducing itself and growing itself and just lysing the cells whereas our immune system thinks that this is not the antigen it should be another one so i'll give you an example here suppose the virus which follows this mechanism is hepatitis b so it's a dna virus now it produces some of the peptides which is thought by our immune system as an antigen suppose this is the virus now it is producing antigen suppose this one and also this one 
Okay. Now this HVV virus, hepatitis B virus, producing these black antigens, which are not actually the antibodies which are generated against this uh, antigen, is not actually helping in controlling the virus because it is not actually present in the mature virus. Actually, the virus which is consist of is present with this red one antigens. The mature virus consists of the red antigens, whereas the false antigens which are produced by the virus is the black ones. So antibodies produced against this, they neutralize this kind of peptides, whereas the original virus remains untouched or it can be uh, it is growing uh, in the background. So this kind of mechanism is followed by hepatitis B virus. So I tell you again, antigenic drift, immunity depression, cell fusion, safe cell zones, and false neutralization. These are the few mechanisms, top five mechanisms, which are generally used by viruses to overtake our immunity or to escape the defense mechanism of our body. So I will take a similar class on the bacterial escape mechanisms also. So if you have any questions, please ask me in the comment section. So if you like my classes, give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel because these things stimulate me to take futuristic classes for you guys. So thank you and be with me.